vengeance for Crota. I've put a lot of time into a lot of games over the year, played a lot of Fallout, played a lot of Skyrim. I've invested nearly 500 hours into Destiny. Today we are looking at a major expansion for Destiny. This is the Taken King. This is the third and by far the most significant downloadable add-on for Destiny. Coming out on the one year anniversary of the game itself and introducing a whole new bunch of story stuff and a whole bunch of different places to go and things to shoot and enemies and loot. Now, you're not quite as immersed in Destiny no, as no, I am. I'm a Destiny tourist <laughs> that basically gets dragged in because somebody over here is a huge fan and we need to do this. So now I had to level up my guy because I gave up on Destiny a year ago. Oh. I always liked the mechanics but I hated the loot stuff. And the thing is, is that Destiny is a game that truly, truly rewards obsessives. Yes, <laughs> right. that is true. But I will say, with the release of The Taken King, Bungie has fixed a lot of the problems with Destiny. This has a story. It's about Oryx. He's this big bad alien. We've killed his son, Crota, and he has come to the solar system to exact vengeance on the Guardians. He's parked his ship in the rings of Saturn, and he's grabbing up all the alien races and turning them into these dark, shadowy versions of themselves the taken. called Taken. Yes. This is a much better game a year out. You know, they have changed a lot of the really super annoying things with it. These bones are centuries old. There's a faint echo of light. This was a guardian once. Ikora, I'm sorry we couldn't bring him back. The fact that they are trying to tell something of a, a story, story I know, you know, I love this, it. this characters, the interaction, this characters, there's characters, there's because there was just an emptiness, I think, when it first yes. launched. And, and I agree. No, I agree with all, all your criticisms of Destiny are spot on. But they're, they're trying, they're working it. So, Mr. Obsessive, you know, the one thing I want to know from you, because I don't care, but you know, you did loot hunt. I remember you being like, I gotta play this game because there's a new thing and I need yeah. to get it now. And now a lot of these new weapons well, really like just sort whole, of wipe stuff out. The whole system's been revamped. Like a lot of the old weapons are, are no longer useful, but there's new weapons <laughs> that are even cooler, with cooler perks. And there's three new subclasses. I play as a hunter, Hunters for Life. Fillion is the hunter vanguard in the game. He's great, like, he's actually made your character all through the Taken King. His voice work is great, his character is great. So my new subclass is the Night Stalker with his awesome purple energy bow. But there's like new subclasses for the Warlock and the Titan. The Warlock can now like shoot lightning out of his hands. The Titan throws this crazy Thor, fiery Thor hammer. But there's like, almost six hours of story content. There's like new multiplayer modes. There's a new raid that's just come out. If you're not already invested in Destiny, I don't think the Taken King is gonna mean as much. But for someone like me, who's been with the game for a year, who's been put a ton of time into it, there's a lot of friends who play, I'm just really happy about a lot of the content. A lot of cool new gear. The whole system leveling up has been simplified, so your, your numerical level just corresponds to experience. So I asked the guys at Bungie, why didn't you see these problems a year ago? And they said, frankly, it's just really hard to build a game of this complexity and this scope and know how what players are going to do with it. I mean, there have been literally millions upon millions upon millions of player hours put into this game. It's not always evident what's going to work off the top. So better late than never. We've now got a really meaty expansion. It's 40 bucks. It's not a cheap expansion, but we got an expansion that's got story, it's got character, it's got new places to go, new things to do. Got some humor. It's got, it got some humor. You know, got some humor as well. That, uh, that was actually one of those things that really helped win me. Yeah. Win me back. Well, you know what side <laughs> I'm landing on with Destiny, but I'm really curious what you thought of the Taken King. I think this is much better. I think it's beautiful. It's technically amazing. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Uh, we agree on that. 8.5 for the Taken King.